Turn now. I'm gonna let that one. Alright, it's ready. So now if that 
I'm in the Chiefs team, his bunker would be over there. I mean, sorry, his basket player would be over there, and my basket player would be over here. Yes. So my unicorn who captures the ball is in the goal box. The goal box is between the blue and the green. If you notice, the goal box does come out to a point. The advantage of this point is that the Pegasus point can't block me as well from here. Just a little pointer for all you new buckers um, and our buckle players that basket players can go all the way to the tip. Remember, you don't want to go outside or on the lines, but you have a little bit of a vantage point when it comes to catching your basket. Of course, you can catch your basket anywhere within your goal box. Long as your legs are inside. Your arms can reach out as far as you want in terms of these boxes. As long as they don't touch another human in, when you're in here, um, you don't want to make contact. Also, if you are the oh, if you are here and a ball's about to go in there and your arm crosses the blue line and gets into the basket zone and prevents that ball from going in, that is interference. You can block anywhere as long as your hands are inside the blue, but as soon as you go into their box or into their basket, you are creating interference with that potential ball. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So each team is teams of three. You have one here, one here, and one there. One here, one here, and one there. That's how you spin. So um, teams of three, and we play two points of three. But first you have to reach three balls in their basket with. If a ball hits the ground when it's inside this main section, it's still fair play. You can pick it up. If the ball hits the ground inside the goal box, it's a dead ball because you can't scoop up a dead ball and put it in your basket. You have to get a basket. Okay? So it's live ball in the air or on the ground, anywhere in the main section. It's a dead ball on the ground outside of this or in the goal box. You will know what's happening because our refs are here to guide you. We have whistles. The whistles don't mean you did something wrong. They call a ball dead or they restart play if it goes out of bounds or if somebody accidentally blocks somebody or accidentally bumps into somebody. It's not to punish anybody or say you did anything wrong. The whistles are to keep everybody playing a fair game and sticking to the rules and you'll kind of learn as you go along. The only potential quote of, the only potential quote unquote bad whistle you might hear is if I start rapidly blowing my whistle, that is to make sure everybody stops playing because we have an injury. I need to make sure that that person is okay. Need to get them to medical assistance if they need it. And if they don't need it, just need to give them a bottle of water and kiss on boo-boos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just pointing out that she ever kisses on boo-boos. I did not. <laughs> and I don't think fake boo-boos should be appropriate, even though she's super cute. <laughs> I will she will assess if it's a real boo-boo kiss me or not. Also, <laughs> We're about to take an oath before we begin the team selections. All right? So raise your right hand. Okay. It's in. I, I swear that. Swear that. I will not hold. I will not hold. Crackle's cousins cosplay. Crackle's cousins cosplay. Or the affiliates. Or the affiliates. Or sequestria fest. Or sequestria fest. Or the convoy hell. Responsible, Responsible for any boo-boos that I caused to myself. 
us. For us. Good. Now, you've just given us a, a declaration of clearance that is our release of liability. You play at your own risk, but we'll do our best to keep you safe with our business. Okay? All right. If you have a team of three, you bring that team of three up to me now, and I will get your names on the list. If you want to play, but you don't have a team of three, I'll call you up next, and I'll help you select teams. If you have a team of three, pick a name for your team. If you don't have a team of three, you can select your name once you're matched up. All right, come forward for our team.
for instance, like, oh my gosh, I'm up a really, against a really tall bucker, and I can't do this. At any point, you can switch. You can try with me. I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying, at any point, you decide you want to try a different position, you can call timeout as long as the ball is dead. Okay, before he does the next puck off, you can call timeout, and you can switch team places if you feel like, I don't want to be in this spot anymore. Okay? Gary, what do you do? The most fun. So if at any point you have to cut a team on a switch, you got ball then you can take time and you can switch spots with another teammate during a dead ball. Any questions? All right. Then I'll be up there taking score. And if any new people come in and want to play football, I'll give them a chance. Um, we have a free spot, and if that doesn't get built, crackle us. We're playing. Okay. Here we go. And welcome to the 2024 Sequestria Fest Buck Ball Tournament! Woo! And our first Buck Ball! All right, ready? Go! Um, and so 
Okay, you got I'm one side. I'm going to go I guess it's me. I'm going to go you. I'm going to go Here goes nothing. I'm going to go Yeah, that was 
Ready? Go! Good. Uh, uh, way too far. Out of bounds.